change of the situation with the players that you mentioned? They're fine. I think with Steph, Steph, you've got to go through a protocol. He's, he's symptom free at the moment, but that has to be for five days. And that five days will be Thursday. He has to see a neurosurgeon. It's the second time he's been knocked out inside 12 months, so he has to go and see a neurosurgeon before he's allowed to clear to play. He'll do that on Thursday. We've got training sessions Friday, Saturday, and hopefully he'll take part in them and be up for selection. Did everyone else come through okay against Hull? We, we seem pretty good at the moment, yeah. Like I said, Chris Dean's just got a huge cut on his head. But no, no symptoms of concussion, no sicknesses, nothing like that. And it's just a general bangs and bumps of playing some, <coughs> playing three games in eight days and, and generally playing rugby league. It's just yeah, a bit beaten up at times. But like I say, we'll get a move in today, find out exactly where we stand. Um, hopefully have another couple of players coming out of off the injured list. Um, hopefully Willie Iser and McGrath Lillowice will be available. Well, Hep for selection, Hill. Hep Kale's miles off. Is he? Yeah. He's um, another six to eight weeks. How's Danny Tickle progressing? All right, he's just only just had an operation three weeks, two weeks ago now, so it's a, it's a four or five week turnaround on a growing up, so he's going to be all right. So the game Sunday, Castle run into some form. Yeah, I don't think they've been out of form all year. I think, you know, you say they lose the first couple of games by a point and a score. I mean, it's not like they've they've struggled all year to to get into tight games. They've and they've. They've shown some real good form. Like I said they played really well on the weekend against Hulk. Yeah. Shows some and good they're, defense. They're, they're a good side. Yeah. They're a good side. What do you like about them, Dennis? What, what, what's the key for Castleford? I, I, I always like them, but a little bit to you here. Yeah, they just. I think that they're, again, they're probably just a little bit ahead of us at the moment in 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 that belief. You know, they're winning games. They've got a, a solid squad that all know their jobs. They work really hard for each other. I like say they've got they've got some good. They've got some good players in their side, some skillful players, and and the the belief that the coaching staff have put in them is giving them a freedom to express themselves. So they they score some good tries, but what they do is they work really hard for each other when they've not got the ball. A lot of people would have expected them to dip a bit this season in view of how well they did last in terms of losing some key players, but they won't have surprised you then. Not at all. No, I don't think they've had. Get some one of those teams. They've got that much quality in and around the place. You know, they've always got some good players. They're always going to be, if, they, if the right people are there and give them the right direction and they understand their jobs, they're always going to be there and thereabouts. They've got yeah. some fantastic players in their team. And I say with Shenton and Lynch, they keep older players. And then around that, they've got, especially Millington's playing really well. Moriano's played well these last couple of games. Milner's had a great year. I say they've got two or three players that they're, they're missing themselves. And I think they'll miss Carney this week and they've also missing Dawn. Whether he's back, I don't know, but he's, um, they've got players that are just on the sideline, but Roberts is starting to find his feet. Yeah. And, you know I mean? They're, they're, they're a good, solid side. Right. They're a really yeah. good rugby league side, and they get the wins that they're supposed to do, and they pinch up, they pinch points when nobody's really gives yeah. them a chance. Well, well, yeah. The better of you in the last few meetings, but confident you can turn that around? They've been really good games, yeah. I think that's, like I said, the, the tough thing about it is that, yeah, we've not been far away. Like a couple of score lines looked like they blew away from us, but they were really tight games for 50, 60 minutes. And a little bit of quality in their side and a little bit of composure just <laughs> gave them some opportunities to to put 12, 18 points on us and then we've, we're scrambling away to try and get it back. They've been really competitive games and I'm expecting them just the same again on um, on Sunday. I'm expecting it to be a tough tough physical encounter because of the, the way their pack plays and the way our pack's playing now. And then it'll be who's got the right attitude and composure to be able to to put the points on the board at the right times. Paddy Flynn back in contention, Dennis? As he was in contention last week. He's not been well. He's been ill. That's the reason Paddy's out of there. He's not 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 selected. He was um, he was unwell last week, and he's still mm -hmm. waiting on a doctor's report now to see if he's. Um,